bought some stuff. Some glasses, but who cares about that? Some disposable face coverings, but who cares about that? But this, this is what people care about. This is an Alpha 6000. Let's open it. Crisp. Oh. Wow, look how flawlessly I unsealed it. Ooh, a manual. More manual, even more manual, even more manual. Ooh, UK plug, EU plug, I think. Charging brick, battery, eyepiece. Ooh, micro USB. Oh, a strap that was going to take hours to install. And finally, the brilliant, the amazing, the absolutely fantastic Sony Alpha 6000. Look how tiny the lens cap is. The flash pops up. Anyway, let's set it up. Tree in. Install the strap. I'm gonna put this on charge for an hour or so, then we're gonna see what it can do. So I've taken a few pictures with it, uh, throw those up on the screen now. Uh, I'm really, really impressed with the results as this is not a very expensive camera. Obviously, 500 pounds is expensive, but like for a camera, it's really not that much. So I'm gonna go take it out on another photography trip and I'm gonna show you how it turns out and then I'm going to show you the video quality and then yeah I'll make my final judgment on whether it was worth what I paid for it or not. So far we're very much leaning into the yes territory. The only thing I absolutely hate, tiny lens cap. You can't tell whether it's backwards or not unless you look so you can't really put it on blindly. Other than that no complaints, loving it so far. For context as well here's the Alpha 6000 next to the WB150. It's an absolute chunk. But in that is 11 frames per second shooting. For context, this is four continuous photo shooting. This is 11. So this is significantly more impressive. And it's in a smaller body as well. Gosh, such video quality! So in conclusion, the A6000 is worth it.